Hello, everyone, and thanks for having us. Um, I'm going to talk about my core of my addiction. Um, everything was pretty good until my mom got married when I was 12 years old. And uh, her husband, which was my stepfather, started molesting me. And everything from that point went to hell. Um, I started hiding in my closet, hoping that he wouldn't find me. And he did. And um, I also found the marijuana in the house. And I smoked my first joint. And I knew then that that was my way to escape. And so I continued to smoke marijuana. Um, I stopped uh, going to classes. And then I started skipping school altogether. Um, and then I started to prostitute. And um, I also ran into this guy uh, that showed me a lot of different things about prostitution. And so um, I also, um, my, uh, everything changed uh, when I started to get uh, physically beat. There was a lot of physical violence in my house and um, I thought that was all right. Um, because my mom still didn't leave my stepfather. And so um, my addiction uh, started to progress. Uh, I went from smoking marijuana to uh, IV drugs. And um, I dropped out of school. And then I went to, from smoking, I mean, uh, IV drugs to crack cocaine. And then that was it. And from then on, I was in and out of jails. Um, in and out of uh, treatment centers, 28-day treatment centers, and in and out of prison. And then years went by, and it was just a vicious cycle. I would go to prison, I would get out, and I would go to these halfway houses that uh, Becca spoke about, where you pay anywhere from $125 to $140 worth of rent. And mind you, I was a high school dropout, so... Um, I only worked in fast foods. And so by the time I gave them my money um, for the rent, I had nothing else left, uh, which kept me going back to the same vicious cycle. And so um, when my six months was up, that was it, back to the streets I go. And it went on for that for a long, long time. And then, um, you know, during that time, I was also in introduced to N.A., and I just happened to um, be at an N.A. meeting, and I heard a little bit about the disinformance program. Um, but I was in a halfway house at that time, too. And so um, maybe a year later, um, uh, I got in touch with the guy that I had met at the meeting, and he told me all about disinformance. And so I started to call. And uh, before then, I had already picked up a charge, and I was going back and forth to court. When I got to this forums, I was going back and forth to court. And this is when uh, my healing began. Um, all the women kept going back and forth to court with me, uh, Becca, uh, the director, um, all, the, all my sisters, all the graduates, everybody. And then it was sentencing day. But mind you that I was doing everything I was supposed to do for a whole year. You know, um, I was paying on my bond because I was out on bond. <clears throat> and um, I was doing everything, saving money, uh, doing all my classes, doing everything they asked me to do uh, at the Disforms Residential Program. And... I'm a citizen day, they gave me 14 years. Yes. And so, but they told me that they was gonna write me. All my sisters and everybody promised me that. They told me that they was gonna visit. They told me that they was gonna make sure that I had what I need. Now, where I come from, people tell you all kind of stuff and none of it is true. And so, it just so happened that it was true this time. They wrote me. They came to visit me. 
They sent me books to read. They made sure I had everything that I need. But the most important thing was they promised me I would have a bed. And so I stayed for three years and one day. And my first two trips to prison, nobody showed up for my parole hearings. And I never got out when I, uh, you know, until I completed my sentence. But this time, people showed up, and they spoke on my behalf, and they talked about the things I did while I was there for a year. And, uh, you know, I used to be real passive, and I wouldn't ever advocate for myself. But this day, I advocated for myself. And... Um, you know, I, I got a voice that came out of nowhere, but I told them, just give me a chance. And um, so I made parole, and how ironic uh, I was able to come back to the place and go into the same bedroom that I had left out of. But what was so amazing was, you know, that first year, I was still kind of cloudy, and I was doing everything. But it was when I came back that I really, really got it. And let me tell you, to be in a place that people in a whole community just love you, just love on you. Like I had been beaten and been doing drugs for so long, I didn't hardly have any teeth in my mouth. I looked like a jack o lantern and, and, I, and I walked around like this, and I smiled like this. And um, so they got my teeth fixed. Um, they let me go to the sexual assault crisis. They let me, um, because I had been raped a couple of times too. But they also, uh, they taught me how to eat. Uh, they showed us how to grow food and so we could eat good and healthy foods. Um, they taught me how to save money uh, because they had financial classes. You know, they sent me to a, uh, uh, to mental health and got me on my meds so I could be treated for some of the trauma that I had been through. They gave me every single thing that I need. And Miss Lynn, I am enough. <laughs> yeah. and, And, and I got my GED and my driver's license for the first time at 47. <laughs> and so uh, I am a very, very, very proud disinformer uh, employee. I work in manufacturing. And I started out being the candle maker. And I love that job because Every candle that I've hand poured, and that's what we was doing a few years back, uh, one at a time. I prayed over every candle. And, and this is the most important product to me because every morning in our meditation, we light a candle for the women that are still out there suffering in hopes that they find their way. And then we also light this candle for the women that lost their way and hope that they find their way back. And so that's why it is my favorite product. And it's my favorite product because it's a good product. <laughs> it's made of soy wax. It burns for 36 hours. And it smells great because we use some of the best essential oils. And um, thank you for letting me share. <laughs>